Just a quick video. We got the uh, Tandy Color Computer 3 online here. We're going to do that modem. Uh, I ordered in... Uh, let's get a light on. So, this is my multi-interface set on 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can put different cartridges, cards in there, whatever, and uh, switch to it. Anyways, I ordered this RS-232 card from Australia, and it finally came. And then I got that running from a 25-pin serial into this multi-modem. Uh, I am using the SDC uh, Coco card to use Twilight Terminal. Uh, and we're slamming here. Look at that. Anyways, I also got the FD502 set up in here, so you can kind of switch between what you want to do. But, uh, look at that, King's Quest. Anyways, this is really nice. Really nice little setup here. I like it. First time I've gotten this thing online. Uh, well, I use the internal modem pack, but that's 300 baud and not ANSI and not very good. Uh, I don't mind 300 baud. I don't like non-ANSI terminals. So this terminal works just great. And very happy with this. Uh, I can also dial up on this guy right here. I can dial up on the Commodore 64. Uh, if I so choose, I can dial up over here, or I can play Space Quest 3 here. Uh, got a lot going on. Uh, waiting on terminal programs for the ST, and then I'm going to get all these online. Uh, I can get the TI-99 online. I have a coupler uh, that you put the old phone cradle in. Problem is, I use Magic Jack, and Magic Jack does now allow you to use rotary so you got you dial the rotary and then put it on the cradle so i don't know how that's going to work uh, i might be able to go ahead and use this guy because he is touch tone anyways this is what we're here for though really look at that beauty <laughs> 